Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, we're looking at a Canadian tournament question where we are trying to solve an equation. On the left side of this equation, I have a product of four consecutive numbers, whereas on the right hand side, I have a quadratic expression. So the most direct approach to deal with this is to work out the product of these four numbers, move it to the right hand side and from there try to solve the quadratic equation. But this approach is not going to be easy because you'll be trying to factorize a quadratic equation with a very large constant. Instead of using the direct approach, the method that I'm going to use is to try to turn both sides into something that can be expressed in terms of a square. From there, I can cancel out the square on both sides and then work towards the final solution. Let's first take a look on the right hand side. I have 9x squared plus 6x. If I go ahead and do a plus 1 on this side, I can actually turn this into the format of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In other words, I can turn the right hand side into 3x plus 1 square by simply adding a plus 1. So mission accomplished, at least for the right hand side. Let's now focus on the left hand side. And the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a plus 1 on this side just to balance out what I did on the right. And if you take a, take a look at these four numbers, you will notice that they are actually consecutive numbers starting from 97. So let's make use of this information. I'm going to let a equal to 97 and express this series in terms of A. So now what I have is A multiplied by A plus 1 multiplied by A plus 2 multiplied by A plus 3. Don't forget the plus 1 at the end. Let's put everything that we have so far. I have A multiplied by A plus 1, A plus 2, a plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 3x plus 1 bracket square. So now the question is, how do we turn the left hand side into a perfect square? We can multiply out each of the bracket, but the problem with that is if we are going to get a quartic equation and that is not going to make things any easier. So instead, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply out each of the bracket, but I'm going to switch things up a little. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply a with a plus 3 and a plus 1 with a plus 2. If we do that, then what we have is a squared plus 3a multiplied by a squared plus 3a plus 2 plus 1 as equal to 3x plus 1 bracket square. And if we do that, we notice something very interesting. We have a square plus 3a here, and then another a square plus 3a here. What if we substitute a plus 3a with something else? Let's say I'm going to let t equal to a square plus 3a. So from there, my expression becomes t multiplied by t plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 3x plus 1 bracket square. If I open up the bracket on the left hand side, I have t square plus 2t plus 1. I hope by now you can realize that this in itself can actually be turned into a perfect square in terms of t and 1 meaning I can turn this into t plus 1 bracket square is equal to 3x plus 1 square. We have now accomplished what we set out to do so we can work on getting the final solution. Let me bring back our original expression for t. I have a square plus 3a plus 1 square is equal to 3x plus 1 bracket square. To make things easier, let me just factorize this and do a, a plus 3 plus 1 square is equal to 3x plus 1 square. Keep in mind, 
a is equal to 97. So if I put back 97 into the left hand side, what I have now is 97 multiplied by 97 plus 3, which is 100 plus 1 square is equal to 3x plus 1 square. In other words, I have 3x plus 1 square is equal to 9701 9, square. We can now cancel the square on both sides, but we want to be extra careful. I have 3x plus 1 is actually equal to plus minus 9701. If I go with a positive route, I have 3x plus 1 equal to 9701. 3x is equal to 9700x is equal to 9700 over 3. If I go with a negative route, I have 3x plus 1 is equal to negative 9701. So 3x is equal to negative 9702. Obviously, then x is equal to this number divided by 3, which is equal to negative 3234. And those are the two answers that we have for today's question. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day. God bless.